If you can program your favorite TV shows to record, you can program your Wi-Fi Bridge Hub. Today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is. In this short video, we're going to discuss downloading and logging into the Automate Pulse 2 app, linking the hub to the app, pairing your shades to the hub, and creating rooms, scenes, and timers. You can always consult the included programming instructions as needed for additional reference. Your Wi-Fi Bridge Hub is ready to set up once your shade is installed and programmed with your preferred settings. If you need help programming your shade, check out the How to Program video on our website. Let's get started. Open the App Store or Google Play Store on your smart device and enter Automate Pulse 2 in the search bar. Make sure you select the correct app and then download it for free. Open the app when it's installed and select OK if it requests access to your home data. Tap the Login button and then click Continue to be redirected to a third-party site for account creation. Select the Sign Up button and then enter a valid email address and password. Select the Sign Up button to return to the app's home screen. When it asks for access to your local network, click OK. Now that the app is ready, choose Yes when the Quick Start prompt appears. Enter a custom name for the location your hub is in, and then tap Next. Decide where in your home you want to place the hub, and plug it into the nearest power outlet. When you see a flashing blue light on the top of your hub, select Add Hub to HomeKit. Use your camera to scan the QR code located on the bottom of the hub or in the small instruction manual. When the app recognizes the code, click Add to Home. Allow a few moments for the app to communicate with the hub. Select the name of the room you're in and then click Continue. Give your hub a unique name or keep the default name. Then click Continue again. When the app states that the bridge is added, click Done. Scroll through and select the correct time zone for your home, then tap Next. Allow a few moments for the app to configure your hub settings. When you see a message that says Success, click Done to return to the home screen. Now, let's link your shades to your hub. Select the Devices tab on the home screen and then tap the plus icon. Choose the hub you're adding the shade to and then click Next. Select the type of shade you're adding from the provided list and then click Next at the bottom. For this next step, you can choose to pair using the hub or to pair using the remote. If you choose Pair with Hub, use a paperclip or similar object to press and hold the program button on the motor head of your shade. When the shade jogs and beeps, release the button and select Next on the app. After a few moments, the shade will jog twice and beep three times, and the app will display the message Pairing Success. If you choose Pair with Remote, set the remote to the channel your shade is currently programmed to. Remove the battery cover on the back and press the P2 button twice in a row. When the shade jogs and beeps, select Next on the app. After a few moments, the shade will jog twice and beep three times and the app will display the message Pairing Success. To finalize your shade settings, name your shade, tap the OK button, and then select Done. If you have any additional shades to add to the app, repeat the pairing steps for each one. Tap the down arrow to fully lower your shade. Tap the square to stop the shade's movement, and tap the up arrow to fully raise the shade. You can also set a custom height between 0 and 100 by sliding your finger up and down on the image of the shade. Lastly, let's review how to personalize your hub settings by adding rooms, scenes, and timers. To add a room, click the plus icon in the Rooms tab. Name the room you're setting up and tap OK. In Room Picture, choose the icon from the list of options that best represents the room. In Room Devices, select each shade in your app that you want assigned to this room, then tap Done. When you're ready to save the room, select Done to return to the home screen. Select the name of the room you've just created. The Open All function will raise each shade simultaneously, and Close All will lower them. Click the back arrow to return to the home screen. To add a scene, click the Scenes button at the bottom, and then select Add New Scene. 
Name the scene you are setting up, and then tap OK. In Scene Picture, choose the icon from the list of options that best represents the scene. In Update Scene Devices, select a shade in your app that you want assigned to the scene. Then choose if you want it to open, close, or move to a custom position. After you've set up each shade and the action it will perform, tap Done. When you're ready to save the scene, select Done again. You can now activate your scene by tapping the Go button next to your scene name. If you want to activate it at a specific time, you'll need to set up a timer. To add a timer, click the Timers button at the bottom of the home screen and then select Add New Timer. Enter a name and tap OK. Select a picture icon that represents the timer you're setting up. Under Timer Scene, find and select the scene you want assigned to your timer. Below this, schedule which time and days you want the scene to activate. When you're satisfied with your timer settings, tap Done at the top of the screen. You'll now see the details of your timer. Turn your timer off or on by simply clicking the slider to the right. You did it! You now know how to set up and operate your Wi-Fi Bridge Hub. If you have any questions or need more help programming your shade, refer to the installation instructions on our website or just give us a call. We're here to help.